how to save a shape for future work in Affinity Designer. Select the shape using either the Move tool, the Node tool, as well as the actual shapes. Once you've done that, what you can do, go along here and you'll notice a little option here, a little cog, cog wheel there. Just click that and it's the preset for that shape. You might already have some there for the diamond or whatever shape you've used. With that, you can go along the side and you'll notice you've got an option here for create preset. Now, if you created a design that's already included, obviously this one midpoint 50, just change it slightly, click there. And now if you go to the right side, click create preset. It needs to be different from the existing ones. So create preset, give it a name, diamond one, and then create. You'll notice it's slightly different from the other presets in that it's got a little user there. Got the name, you can now close it. You can also, of course, select any of these other presets. And as you do it, you'll notice the diamond shape will change. And again, back to that one you've just saved. You can also save it to the assets. Now, all the various things are found here in the window menu. If you're using version one, they're found in the view menu and studio. But just go down here and say assets or symbols. I'm just going to use symbols a little bit later. So with assets, you can see here, I've created a shapes category. To create a category, you need to go here, right, again, the right side menu, click there and create new category. Just create something like shapes, shapes one, etc. With that category, with this shape selected, and you can use the move tool, you can also use like no tool, all these sort of ones, doesn't matter. Because what you need to do, just make certain it's selected. Go here and click add from selection. Needs to be this one, not this one. This one here, add from selection. So that will be then stored away. The assets can be used in future projects. So if soon as you've closed this, you've gone off and go and work with Affinity Photo or whatever, you can come back into this document or just into Affinity Designer and then simply just drag from the assets it will still be there, stored away, and you can use it multiple times. Just drag and just add your diamond shape or any of the other shapes you've created. You can also use symbols, but the difference with symbols being it's only for this document. So this will be stored here. If you go here and create a diamond, and I'm just going to create a diamond shape, it could be, again, any other shape. With that, go here, Move Tool, and with it selected, if it's not selected, you won't be able to create it. It needs to be selected. And then click Create. So Create, and now it'll be stored away in your symbols. You can delete it then, and if you want, you can use it, obviously, just drag it from there and use it again. But it's only with this document. Another option would be to go to File, and then Save As, and again, save it as Affinity Designer Format File. And then, at a later point, you can always go and use place. So that place command will then load that design in and you can then use it again. But personally, I find the assets as well as the presets a much more easier way to use the shapes. So let's just do that. File and then save as. And I'm just going to call it one. Very unoriginal, but save. And so it's stored away as one and that designer format. Then you can go to file and place. And you can see it there. Just select it. You can see it's Affinity Designer document. Click open. And then just click the document. And now you've got your designer shape there. Now, this is not ideal because you'll notice what it's stored as is an AF design. But you've still got the shape design. It's just not in the format like that, which is a standard vector design. This is actually just the document design. To actually access the shape, you'll need to edit the document. And you can, you just simply go here, up here. As long as it's selected again with the move tool, click edit document. You'll then notice you've got this diamond shape. You can select it. It's exactly the same as before. It's a vector design. You can then go to edit and copy. And then of course, go back to your document. You can then just delete this document. Of course, you don't need it anymore. And just paste it in. You've got your vector shape again. So you can store your shapes in Affinity Designer document. If you select any other shape, something like a star design, and then go up here, you've got this option again, the cog, click there, you won't see the diamonds, but you will see all of those double star designs. 
And again, if it's different, you can click here and you'll be able to create the preset. Obviously, it isn't different. So again, you just modify it slightly, click here again, and now click there and you'll notice you've got create preset. So you can just save that. Again, star one and create. You can also manage the presets as well. So just go up here, click there and manage presets. So manage presets and you'll see all of your shapes. And you've got a variety of options to create a category. Also restore the presets back to the default settings that you came with Affinity Designer. You can also export them. So if you want to give them maybe to someone else, you can go export user presets. You can also import some presets as well. Also, you've got the option here of filtering. So you could go here, no filter, or just go for the rectangles, go for the triangles, and so on. So you can see all the designs you've got for a particular shape. And of course, the bottom, close. You can also select, and then you've got the option to rename. So if you change your mind on the name, you can always rename it. You can also select delete, just to delete it. Unfortunately, you can't select multiple shapes and delete those. So just delete that one and then delete preset. Click close. If you create a shape that's not one of the standard shapes, something like this, say. Way of saving it, simply go to Window and Symbols to store it away in your document. Or probably better, go to Window and go down to Assets. However, in this case, if you go and select these assets and go and say, click Add from Selection, what will be created will be two distinct shapes. Now, it might be made up of 20 or 30 shapes. Key thing is, when you're creating this design, make certain you right click and go to group. So it's all grouped into a single group. Then go to the assets, right click again, right click here and go for add from selection. And then the design will be stored away as a single design. If you create a shape such as a rectangle and then decide, oh, I want to change that, such as convert to curves, so it just becomes a standard shape. So convert to curves, this is exactly the same thing. So again, you can move that, reposition it. Now you'll notice that you've got no presets option. So the best place to save it, again, will be the assets. So move tool there, you've got your design. And again, go to assets, go here, right click that and add from selection and it will be stored away. And that can be done for any shape. So if you create say, a triangle or donut tool and right click there, convert to curves. So convert to curves. At this point, it's of course exactly the same, but there's no option for setting it to a preset. You can just move this, change this, tweak it in all kinds of ways. Again, move tool, that's selected. Again, go to the assets, go here to this little menu and click there and add from selection. And again, it's stored. Also, if you add, say, a layer effects, such as a shadow or 3D effect, if you then want to save it, go to the assets again and then do exactly the same and store it away for future use. I'm always creating new videos about Affinity Designer as well as Affinity Photo, so please check out the channel. Near enough, every week, there's always a couple of new videos. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Thank you much.